Hello and welcome everyone. Welcome in. Today we're going to do something very different than what we've done before. So, in the past I've built a deck, we've played it, um, I built a deck from scratch, I've tested it, and then we've played it for a video. In those instances, um, I took time a couple days before or a week before, or in some cases like the Grixis Dragons deck, a couple weeks, to get a deck kind of ironed out to a position where I thought it was good enough. Now, I decided, um, another content creator, Jim Davis, uh, has a series where he's showing the process of him deck building. So I figured, even though I'm not as good as him, I would do something similar and something that I thought would be kind of fun for you guys. I decided I'm going to take an idea for modern, um, and I'm actually going to walk you through my process from building the deck to testing it to making changes to then the point where I would normally play a deck. Now, a lot of times I take a list from the internet and play a specific deck list, but when I'm building the deck from scratch, usually my process is to some extent like this. Now, if it's a deck that has um, similarities with other archetypes... Usually I'm just playing good cards and mixing them up with that archetype. Now, what I'm doing today is I'm going to be playing a Rug Super Friends deck. The idea came from I want to play Ren and Six, Oko, and Karn the Great Creator in a deck together. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to play Oko, Ren and Six, and Karn the Great Creator together. So, now, I didn't quite know what I wanted my shell to look like. So, this is what I'm starting with. So we're starting with 8 mana dorks, 4 birds, 4 gilded goose. Our removal suite in the main board is going to be four lightning bolts, two magmatic sinkholes. Um, we then have four once upon a time, four growth spirals. Growth spiral is the one card right now that I'm absolutely not sure on whatsoever. But I want to try it. I was playing Ice Fang Kotal, but... Or I was going to play Ice Fang Kotal, but... Uh, I don't think the mana is going to work right for that. Um, not sure... But I want to try just the gross files for now. Um, then three Oko, four Cryptic Command. It's a lot of Cryptics, but we'll see. And then, of course, three Karn the Great Creator. Um, reason why I'm doing three, three, and three is because as far as renting cards, this is basically all I can afford us to do three, three, and three. So, unfortunately, that's where we're at. Um, sideboard, I have my Karn board, which is seven cards here. One Pithy Needle, Graph Digger's Cage, Liquid Metal Coating, a Walking Blista, Worm Coil. Lattice and an ensnaring bridge. Um, the nice thing about most of these things is if we get to a point in the game where ensnaring bridge doesn't matter anymore, Oko can turn it into an elk. Um, then the other eight cards in our sideboard are just kind of cards for matchups that generally I think we might want to be concerned about. So Alpine Moon for Tron, uh, Scape Shift, things like that. Uh, Veil of Summer for control matchups, Disdainful Stroke for Tron, for Eldrazi Tron, for Urza, and a Mystic Dispute for any blue deck, not just control, but like Simic Urza, things like that. Um, this is the rough draft, the very first list, the mana base, every card I've chosen is just the first cards that came to mind, again, except for Growth Spiral, which again I talked about. Um, so basically the idea was I started out with just these six cards and then built from there i was like okay well i would love to play my oko on turn two so i wanted eight mana dorks well once upon a time is really good at finding your mana dorks um removal of course red doesn't have very many options and while oko does act as a removal spell i did need a little felt like i needed a little bit more um red and six of course really good at reoccurring stuff and i figured putting extra lands into playing stuff wasn't bad i was playing one of each of the uh I'm sorry, we're playing two watery, uh, waterlogged gorges and one fiery elet. Islet? Islet? Whatever. Um, yeah, so cryptics, we only have one, two, three. We have four non blue lands in the deck. Both our Mandors can't produce blue mana. Um, yeah, I'm just, we're just gonna try it out and see how it goes. Um, let me know if you guys like this idea. Um, because if you do, we can do this with other things. Like, I want to do a uh, 
quite a few other decks I have ideas for, but I just haven't put the time into doing them because with the schedule I have right now, I want to do decks that I know I'm going to enjoy playing, and I don't really want to put a super ton of work in testing decks before I play them. But if I'm doing it for a video, that's different. I don't mind, you know, because if we're testing a deck out to see how it goes, it could be terrible. That's okay. I don't really want to do that for an actual recorded video. You know, I want to try to give you guys the best video I can. So, yeah, let's go and we're going to hop into some matches here. We're going to see how it goes. Um, I hope you guys enjoy. Let me know what you think. And, yeah, let's hop in the first match. All right, so we got an interesting hand here. Um... I mean, let's try it. Let's see how it goes. You know. We'll draw a Gross Spiral or an Oko, something like that. This hand could be pretty good. I mean. We could also draw a Mana Dork off top. Plus, today, our discard deck, our hand's not great. Also, we do have Cryptic Command Mana, which I think is important. Death Shadow. Fill in like Death Shadow. Oh, no, Serum Vision's okay. Well, I mean, it still could be Death Shadow. Serum Vision doesn't immediately mean they're not. Um. Alright, I'm going to go and play out the Skeleton Tarn here. We're going to pass. Mutable, huh? Bitter Blossom. Alright, fairies. That makes me not super happy about my choices here, um, to be honest. That on the other hand does though. Uh, we will play Snow Covered Forest. We're gonna pass. I think I'm gonna put into play the Steam and shock myself depending on what they do. Maybe not. Liliana? Sure. Grow Spiral. Plus it right now. I can attack for three, so I don't really want to play the list out. Discard the goose. Crypto command discard. Nice. Snap serum. Okay. All right. All right. I'm filling you. I'm telling the opponent. Hopefully we draw something good here. Um, they're gonna get to put Karn to five. They're playing on the Muta Vault. Yeah, Karn to five. Alright, let's tick down. Yes. Let's get. Oh, I kind of want to just get Pithing Needle. Shutting off these Muta Vaults. Hmm. Now let's get this Lily on off the table. I think we have to get Leon off the table here. Much as I'd like to not. Yeah, the fact that we fell behind this Bitter Blossom pretty much tells me this game's over. We have just got no pressure going alongside it here. Yeah, they're going to finish off Karn. 
Tag me for one. Uh, running six isn't bad. Hmm. Let's do this. Oh, they have a counter spell. Neat. All right, well. Okay. I'm assuming we're getting both Muta Vaults animated here and getting attacked for four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Jesus. Or not. Jason the Mind Sculptor. Cool. Once upon a time. Waterlog Gorge, I guess. Yeah, let's go to the next game. I think we're pretty dead here. Alright, so... And we're going to want these against them. Um, bolts are probably fine. I'm not sure if I want all the cryptics. I think that's a little expensive. So maybe cut like a goose. Trim on the onces. Maybe cut a lightning bolt. Try this. Yep, play first. I'll keep it. So, I'm actually going to play this a little bit slower than I normally would. Just in case. So, they lead on a discard spell, I want to veil some of them. Alright, it's on the ground, it's tapped. Bird. Yep, let's pass turn here. Yep. We're in a breeding pool. Yep, crypt the command. Digging it. Karn. Let's take down. Yes. I'm actually going to look at Metal Coating. They have a discard spell that sucks, but. Meh. Sure. Snap Thoughtseize. Take the liquid metal coating. Yep. Sounds good. Alright, well, I'm a pretty big fan of that. Not going to lie. Yes, and I think I want... One, two, three, four, five... Just get a lattice. Bolt. Sure. Spend a counter spell on it. Let's uh, 
Go to blocks. A spiral. All right. Well, you got me there, opponent. You got me there. Oof. Well, that sucks. No, well, it's kind of flooding out here. That's not good. Yeah, maybe we should have gotten Walking Bliss instead of the Lattice. I honestly didn't expect them to have so many counter spells, to be honest. Like, their hand was just all counter spells. Yep. Well, you're going to whiff, but of course, our hand is basically dead right now. Because they attack here, kill Karn. Yep. Where the heck were you a turn ago? Yep. Attack me for three. Let's fetch again. Let's get tapped land here. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hmm. Unfortunately, Microsoft Vladis actually shuts this off. That sucks. All right, whatever. Hmm. Yep. All right, let's go to my turn. Draw. Oh, that's a lightning bolt, so that's not bad at least. Yep. Let's go ahead and tap draw. Let's go ahead and bolt there, I guess. Spell stutter sprites. Resolves, can't do anything about it. But on the other hand, I can at least do something with. One, two, three, four. All right, well, Oko. Make a food. Hmm. Yep. Hopefully, I don't have a counter spell. I guess technically, if they have a counter spell, we survive. There's that. And I guess let's go ahead and. Oh, I just make another food. That is not what I meant to do. It's not in the slightest what I meant to do. Oh well. Yep, land. Yep, block. If it takes three. I'm gonna eat one to gain two or gain three life. 
Untap. Let's drop churn. All right, another land. Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is Lattice, I guess. I don't really know if that actually helps any. Hmm. I got three cards in hand. Other land. I guess some flooding is not bad for us. Let's block. Elko takes one. Yep, make a food. Jesus. Animate another food. Attack with one of the foods. And yeah, let's just pass, I guess. Another snapcaster. Bell stutter sprite. That definitely sucks. I mean, I can't protect Oko from that anyway unless I made another food token with him, so. Sure. Definitely sucks, but hey, what can you do, right? I don't really top top, so that sucks. Yep, yeah, tagging all three Doko. I'll go down. Yeah, make another food. I don't eat one too, actually. Alright, let's untap, draw for turn. That ain't very good. Yep. We're gonna block one, I mean. It doesn't actually do anything to the goose anyway. Make a food. That's on top. Alright, let's tackle the foods. Fatal pushing the other, eh? Three. Well, they can pay for it. Trading there. Hmm. We already spent two of our four lightning bolts. I'm going to hold this in case we need a removal spell. Yep. Yep, put me to nine. Make a food. 
Right, let's untap, draw something good. Well, that's not really something good, but I guess it's something. One, two, three, one, two, three. <sighs> I guess I can counter over they try to flash back. Is that even good though? Please hard cast script command. Take it. Five. Draw another bird. Obviously, not really what we want to do, but yay, slow grindy matchup. I think we. I think our issue here was we didn't protect Oko well enough. We were like definitely supposed to protect Oko more. Yep, animate. Yep, tax. All right, let's start with bolt. Gain three life. Make a food. Gain three more life. All right, take my turn. Draw for turn. Oko, nice. Oh, you have a counter spell. Oh, there's a cryptic command that sucks. Counter draw, sure. All right, I mean, yep. Rough turn. Well, that's pretty good. That is uh, that is definitely pretty good. Of course, it may not be that good until we draw an actual uh, like uh. <laughs> Let's go to blocks. I don't need all these birds. I'm going to go ahead and block one here, too. Mm 
Yep. Yep, to 10. Alright, draw for turn. Run in 6. Well, let's pick up, wait, where did my waterlog gorge go? Oh, my dumbass exiled it. That figures. Kill that. Yep. All right, let's see what we got here, opponent. We got two cards left. It's your two flyers against my two flyers and a running six. Alright, so we're gonna go a block and I'm just gonna go and block there too. Green, blue, and we're gonna go a spiral. Put that into play. Make another food. Tap drop turn. Eesh. You got any lands out to fetch? Basic mountain. Alright. At this point, we're drawn to a lot of different stuff here. Right. On tap, drop turn. Oh, that is definitely one card we're drawn to, but do we have anything left in our deck that actually matters? I mean, not really, I guess. Yeah, use that as green mana. Make another food. Uh, pick up another land, I guess. Not like we can really do anything with it. Now on the bright side, we got both our flyers blocked at least. Uh, what's this? Jace the Mind Sculptor. Looks like it. Yep. Well, it was really only a matter of time before they finally drew into something good. You know, we've been drawing blanks for quite a few turns. And this Renin 6 is good, but without, like, a... Anything to really go with it. It's not great. They are down to 4 now. Yep, same visions resolves. Fatal push. Make food. Bird down. Block. Drop turn. Son of a bitch. So the crime part here is if I tick down run in six, it dies. So I can't tick it down. Because Jace can just bounce this and they can kill run in six. Yep. We have no more lands left in our deck to actually fetch out. Yeah, we screwed up by 
getting rid of the waterlogged gorge. I didn't even think about it. I was just getting rid of lands, get rid of land, or get rid of cards, get rid of cards. Yeah. Yep, make food. Gain two, gain three life. All right, let's go ahead and draw a card here. Jesus. All right, well I guess if they try to bounce our goose, we can protect it. I don't know, man. That doesn't seem particularly good either, but. I imagine they're sitting on a counter spell. Yep. Let's see. Yep, they got a counter spell. Yeah, I mean, you know. They, they dodged it so long. Although I, I think they should be. Now they're going to start plusing this and we're going to probably just lose. Although we only have 19 cards left in our deck. So, like, we can't have. It's not too much that's just dead. I mean. Yeah, I mean, there's not much left in our deck that's just, you know, not actually useful. Really? I would think they'd start trying to plus up. Unless they really think they're going to win the game through a race here. Actually, I guess they could. They they have a lot of cards. So send that one there. Yep. Yep. All right, let's see. Jesus Christ, deck. Oh my gosh, this is ridiculous. Oh, this is so ridiculous. We got like one botanical sanctum left and like one other card. Yep. Resolves. Like we got nothing left. We're we're out of gas. Sure. Nothing to take. Trust me, Wonder, if I had any cards to take, I'd have been playing or free to take, I'd have been playing them. Again, I'm so like I I guess I guess it's having nothing, they just think that they're they're well, I guess that's six damage a turn. It's a pretty good beat down, I guess. Three mana, Liliana. Sure. Interesting choice. We've gone through all three of our Okos. It. We've gone through a couple. Yep. Yep. Game three life. Let's draw. Draw for turn. Draw a spiral. Something good. Oh my god, are you kidding me? <laughs> this isn't even like a joke at this point. This is this is just like sad. Oh my goodness, this is just like legitimately sad at this point.
Kind of surprised they didn't brainstorm and then discard a card, but whatever. So I'm not sure how much it matters. And Link, alright. Last card in their hand might be another Cryptic Command here. Hmm, not sure. Hmm. Yep, I mean, Mutavolt, yep. Three, four, five, six. Yep, and for eleven. Uh huh. Right, let's gain three more life here. Draw card. Ren and six. Well. That'd be something I'd classify as a good card. Snapcaster. Yeah. Oh, that sucks. Yep, Cryptic Command, Counter Draw. This just shouldn't F6 because if they if they actually go cryptic bounce since they think if they see I'm F6 then I could be in trouble. Yep. I mean that's like the downside, right? Like they just drew like exactly what they needed. I mean, we still have outs. Not many, but we still have some outs. Yep. Four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, we got a nine. Oh, they bounced Snapcaster, that's game. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep, the bounce of Snapcaster is going to do it. Well, I mean, that sucked. Obviously, we wanted to win that game, but... All right, we'll be back in just a minute for another one. All right, here we are for game two. Uh, this one's pretty sweet. I'm going to keep it... Yeah, this hand looks quite nice. Alright, I was say Oko would be a pretty sweet draw here. Uh, let's get Breeding Pool. So, of course, going to let us play the Goose. And then turn to Ren and Six. Hmm. I mean, we obviously hope that our Ren and Six resolves. Nope. Oh, they're opting. Okay. Well, still not necessarily going to resolve, but hopefully. It does, in fact, resolve. Okay. All right, let's see what our opponent has here to follow up. Prey stream. All right, so they're blue eye control probably. Sounds good. All 
Alright, they're just plussing him. Sounds good to me. Oof, land. Huh. Well. I mean, since our opponent went ahead and played him, I kind of just want to go... Harn, tick down, yes, um, guess liquid metal coating, up tick, pick up the misty rainforest, pass the turn, Yeah, I'm not sure. This is... The deck doesn't feel bad. Against fairies, we just kind of flooded pretty hard. Yep. Flooded Strand. Narset. Yep, Narset's sweet. Jace, nice. Another Crypt Command that is basically dead. I'm dumb. Yeah, I'm dumb. That was the wrong land. Yep. Stone Rain. Draw a card for turn. Oh, f I'm dumb. Yep, that was colossally stupid. Yep, awesome. No attacks. Yeah, that was a uh, that was a masterful move there. That was uh, that was great. Real uh, real classic. Yep, that's fine. Yeah, that was not my best move. <laughs> Jesus. Yep, fetch play Jace, I'm assuming. Force negation here would suck. Mana leak. Alright, I mean, they can't play Jace and hold up Mana leak, so... Alright, let's go there. Kill you. Bolt you. Yeah, I mean they're they're in the tank here. They're fetching. Are they gonna crypt to come in my lightning bolt? Oh, right, I'm just sanctuary and off back on top. Also to note they now have no white sources. They're gonna bounce this and that'd be pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good actually. I like it. Oh uh, yeah, let's just card the island. I like it. 
Kill the rune works. Yep, plus. Alright, I'm gonna grab the mountain, I guess. Yep, make food. Untap, draw for turn. It's another goose. So. Ping you. Blue, 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 green. Alright. Play this. Bolt to finish it off. Opt in response. Alright. That's good to know. We're out from underneath the... Uh, To ferry for the moment. All right, now they have negate up though, or rather mana leak up with their counter spell. Do you want to make them pay it? Play it. I kind of do. Yeah, I think I want to make them have to play it. So we have a second one. Yep, mana leak it. This also means we get to resolve uh, liquid metal coating and Karn next turn. If we want to. Fate me, which is fine. On top, sounds good. Okay. Alright, let's let's start here. So let's pick up our eyelets, play it. Karn. It's down to again. Yes. How about we go get Good to think of, I guess. Jace the Mind Sculptor. And let's play another goose. Yeah, alright. See what our opponent's got here. You know, this matchup doesn't really feel great, but at the same time, it doesn't feel terrible. Yep. It's a fairy. You're going to tuck my, uh, no, you're just going to draw a card, okay. Works for me. Yep. Alright. Draw a card for turn. Grow spiral, eh? Let's go. Look at metal coating. Does it resolve? It resolves. Stick down. Yes, I want. I am gonna get a lattice this time. And then going to go ahead and plus. I'm just gonna pick back up the scalding tarn. Play this island I know about. 
I'm going to pass. Shut off the ferry. Yep. All right, fetch land here. And get another Mystic Sanctuary. Spiral. Let's go there. I guess it's good. Breeding pool. I'll shock to six. I'll make food. Draw a card. All right. It. Play it. Uh, no targets. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, let's go. Oko. Nope. Ah, dang it. I didn't mean to make more food. I meant to target one of these and make it into a thing. Whatever. Alright, let's go. Goose. Yep. And, yeah, we're going to pass. Opt. Two mana Snapcaster Mage. Sure. What are you gonna target? Cryptic Command. Sure. So, tap all creatures. Let's go counter draw. Go blue, 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 and uh, make blue. All right. Yep. Sure, what are you putting back on top? The opt? Sure. You're welcome to that opt, opponent. Shut off its fairy again. This deck at least grinds, that's for sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eleven. Fortunately, we don't have a, another. Uh, we don't have a curve to command anymore. Oh wait, yeah, we do. We absolutely can have a curve to command still. Start by trying to bolt it. Alright. 
So I have three cards. So that means I have to have two counter spells. Okay. So for game three, we're gonna bring these in. Um they're certainly gonna have more counter spells, so I may not want all of these. Um These are also not great draws. Hmm. Maybe trim another goose. Maybe just trim some of these for a combination of more efficient counter spells and stuff to stop their counters. I mean, that could be wrong. The nice thing here is we still have like we have a nice little mix of like this Karn board that's still super relevant, but we also have like a reasonable amount of sideboard cards here, which may not be right. I don't know, but that's what I was going for anyway. All right, let's try this. Let's see how it see how it goes. I don't think it's worth it, but we could Alpine Moon from Mystic Sanctuary, I believe. Yeah, lose all abilities, so it wouldn't even get the trigger. I don't believe. Yeah, no, it wouldn't, because uh, Lotus Field doesn't get its trigger when it's been named. No. I mean, I'm at least enjoying the deck. I don't know if it's actually good or not, but I'm enjoying it. Um, we maybe want more interaction. Not sure in what. Kurt's command is a little awkward with it too. Oh boy. I mean, I guess I'll keep it. Like, sounds not great, but like, we are just kind of like a control deck, right? So lands and lands is good. And hopefully we'll be able to get Ren and Six out underneath the counter spell. What do we draw? Come on, opponent, let me go to my draw step. Let me draw my card, opponent. Just want to draw my card. That's so much to ask for. I mean, I'm going to assume they have a counter spell. I don't know. It's probably what we draw, though. Like, maybe if we draw an Oko, we'll just jam the Ren and Six. I don't know. Even then, though, it feels pretty bad if they have double counter spells. Hmm. Alternatively, we may just not get to take our draw step here. Alright, I'm going to pause it real quick until they give us our. They'll come back. Alright, opponent's back. We drew the Gross Spiral, so I'm not going to actually cast Ren and Six this turn. I guess Steam Mints. Gross Spiral. Attempt Ren and Six. Yep. Hmm. 
I'm gonna go to forest. Attempt to veil it. Nope. It resolves. Pick back up. Pick up more lines. Doesn't really make a difference. Jace. All right. You got me. Purge got me. Another veil, huh? It's a good draw. All right, so I think the new plan should be post board against these control decks. Let's take out a bunch of Birds of Paradise and stuff like that. Because they're not very good. Like, they're not... We're going to grab the other breeding pool, I think. Alright. Um, let's go there and pass. Yeah, the fact that we just have, like, no action here sucks. But, you know, me... Well, that's a good one. I'm very happy to draw that. Right, I'm going to fetch Stomp Grounds tapped. Draw a card. Another round six. I like it. Well, we got double counter spell up here. I like it. All right. That's still pretty sweet. Just veil it. Yep. Hmm. Once. I'm gonna take a goose, I guess. That really sucks putting both cards on the bottom, but. Draw a card. Alright, untap. Draw for turn. Alright, grow spiral. Pick back a waterlog gorge. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Play the waterlog gorge. Actually, I'm gonna play this goose too. One, two, three, four. And yeah, it's gonna give us double cryptic command up. Still, so. Or Crypt Command Grow Spiral. What's this going to do? Uh, counter draw. Yep. Narset. Sure. Sounds good. Grow spiral. Botanical Sanctum into play. Untaps. Back up Sculling Tarn. Uh, 
let's just play this. Pass the turn. Alright, so we're we're ahead on cards um, in the sense that we have a lot more lands and a lot more stuff we can do here. A whiff. That's pretty good for us. Unfortunately, we are going to have to spend this Cryptic Command on this Teferi, it looks like. Ooh, or not, really. Alright, well. Second Waterlog Gorge isn't bad. Pick up another Waterlog Gorge. Yep. Unfortunately, we just don't have any like actual answers here. Snapcaster. We're gonna try a snap purge. Sure. Okay. Go counter target spell. Bounce the colonnade. Yeah, I guess that's what we'll do there. Yeah, because I mean, right now we have them pretty well, uh, pretty well stuck where he's at. Yep, flooded strand. Okay, fetching. Mystic Sanctuary, putting a Crypt Command back on top, sounds good. Sure. Disable stroke. Blocks. Make a food. Bird down. Actually. Yeah, let's just crack this. Nice. Alright. Emblem. Vault you. Oko. Ah, oh, fuck. That's not what I meant to do either. Damn it. Play the gorge. Fine, whatever, it's fine. Screwing up all over the place, but it's fine. Yep, colonnade. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Counter draw. Yep, Bell Summer. Nice. All right. Looks like we're probably going to have this game locked up here. Oko will happily take three. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Twelve mana. 
Karn. Yes. Lattice. And okay, and we got it. Well, um, yeah, that game went much better for us. Uh, that's not the one. Yeah, so, you know, that's that's kind of what we're looking for. That was the interactions we were looking for. So the control matchup seems like it's pretty grindy and in our favor. Um, then again, we have a lot of sideboard cards devoted to it. Uh, the first match, the blue-black fairies, again, we kind of just flooded out and didn't draw very well here. Um, but, yeah. All right, so my overall thoughts to start with is uh, we have a lot of lands. Like, a lot of lands. Um, so I might want to make a cut here somewhere. Starting with maybe, like, cutting from 25 down to... Probably just maybe starting with cutting to 24. Like, let's cut the second Botanical Sanctum. Yeah, let's just cut the second Botanical Sanctum. And then maybe let's trim on the uh, Cryptic Commands, because that's a little bit... That's a little lot. Um... I don't think I want eight mana dorks. I think I want just seven because we have the four once upon a time as well. Um, Magmatic Sinkhole seems fine. We're playing a lot of fetch lands. I don't know what we could turn these into, but I think that's where I want to start. Um, sideboard wise, we'd have to play some more matches out to really decide where I want the sideboard to go. Um. As far as our Karn board cards, though, I think we're pretty well off. Like, I can see switching the Spithy Needle for Spyglass and vice versa. I can see something like that. Um, as far as our other eight slots, though, um, we're going to figure out what we're the most concerned with playing against. Because, like, I just don't think this is a deck that can beat Scape Shift, like, ever. <laughs> so I don't even know if the Alpine Moons are, like, worth it. Like, maybe that's not even worth considering. To where, like, Tron... I don't think we have a good matchup against Tron, but I could see us trying, like being able to beat them. Um, also, something I did want to try is maybe, because we are playing so many fetch lands, maybe bump up our basic total. Actually, we probably cut this Copper Line Gorge instead of this Botanical Sanctum, to be honest. Or maybe both. Replace one with a land and replace the other one, and then cut these for Astrolabs. I can see that. I think that might be pretty cool. I can definitely see that. Um, yeah, but honestly, like, uh, the deck was fun. Um, I like it. Renin 6 is awesome. Oko was really good. Um, if I could afford a fourth Oko, I'd be playing a fourth Oko, but at the moment, uh, he's a little too expensive for me to rent a full set of, as well as all the other cards I need to rent for the deck. Um, which is just Renin 6s and Karns, but... Yeah, I don't know. Um, obviously, the deck's not perfect. Like, it still needs some work. But I do like it. Um, I kind of did want a little bit more interaction, but I'm not quite sure what we play. You know? I mean, there's, like, Harvest Pyre, but that's, like, basically another Delve spell. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's tough to say. Either way, uh... So, as far as the first test goes, went pretty well. Um, playing against a deck that we probably won't play against very often, and we play against a deck that we probably would play very often against. And on the bright side, we beat the deck that we'll probably play against more often than not. So, that's cool. Um, yeah, I don't know. I like the deck a lot. I like the way it feels. I like the interactions it has. That kind of inevitability with the Karn is awesome. Because don't wrong, Karn's not necessarily great. Like, I mean, don't wrong. It was really good against Blue Eye Control being able to go get the Pithing Needle and being able to get the Liquid Metal Coating to shut off the Fairy. Like, those are all really good things it was able to do. So, as far as getting Silver Bullets out of our sideboard, it was super sweet. Um, which obviously means an eventual win condition is awesome. Because, again, it's Walking Ballistic and get Worm Coil to win the game with. Um, Oko can win the game. You know, Ren 6 can technically win the game. You know. Uh, Renin 6's emblem is pretty sweet. We don't have a lot of instants and sorceries. I guess we have a decent number, right? We have, you know, four bolts, two sinkholes, four or three cryptic commands. 
All four crypt commands. Four gross spirals. Hmm. Yeah, anyway, um, I think it might be worth trying the astrolabs over the gross spirals. But I don't know. It was kind of nice being able to, like, go <laughs> turn two gross spiral into turn three, like, four mana planeswalker. That's pretty fun. I do like that. Um, but either way, I think it's definitely worth testing some different stuff. Um, I like this list. I thought it was fun. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. If you guys liked it, uh, I'll play some more of it. If you guys like this kind of video in general, I'll definitely try some more. Like, I kind of want to do this with, like, a Sultai and with a uh, Bant versions of different decks. Um, so, yeah. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button. If you want to see more videos like this, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video.